We're getting closer to the holidays and November is jam packed full of great sneaker releases. We have a ton of sneaker releases to get through for the month of November, so we're gonna jump right into it. If you love the sneaker guides, make sure you subscribe, turn your notifications on, and you won't miss one in the future. November 4th, one that I have to mention, the Retro One High OG Royal Reimagined. Now, I'm definitely not plugging this one, telling you guys to buy it to resell, because I'm telling you, the price has tanked tremendously. Let's face it, it's not leather. The suede looks okay, but it's just not it. It seems like the sneaker heads aren't really feeling it. I'm leaving these ones on the shelf. Still a sick colorway, but most definitely a pass for me. November 9th, we've got the Off-White Air Force One Mid Varsity Maze. The last colorway that we saw of these was the green pair or the pine pair, if you will. The material on this pair looks a lot more favorable to wear. And retailing for 205, there may be a little bit of meat on the bone for resellers to make some bread. November 10th, the first pair that you should look out for is actually a pair of cleats. We've got the Kyler Murray Vapor Edge Cleats, white, rose gold, the entire outside of these is rose gold accented very appealing to the eye retailing for 190 bucks i do believe these are going to sell out and i think that there's already a market for them on resale apps i saw a couple pairs fetching pretty high numbers on the goat app so let's keep an eye on these as we get closer to release day but that's not all that kyler murray has in store for us same day, November 10th, look out for the Dunk Low Kyler Murrays. Be one of one. Let me just start by saying that the month of November, Nike came back and gave us some fire dunks. These Kyler Murrays are incredible. I love the materials, love the color blocking. For $135, there's going to be plenty of resale value here. The different textures, the be one of one on the inside of the tongue, and they really hit the nail on the head with this pair. November 11th, I've seen these confirmed on some sites, others, it's still up in the air. Keep an eye out for the tight booth dunk low sb again another fire pair of dunks these are definitely a must cop whether you want to store them in your personal collection or get them to resell but i'm telling you there's going to be mad resale value here very neutral colorway but the collab accents are incredible all the way down to the insoles i mean just look at this detail 135 dollars is the retail price we can expect these sbs to hit sneakers as well as some skate shops and of course tight booth so make sure you pay attention to that release info closer to release date november 3rd we have another insane dunk low the april skateboards dunk low sb turbo green now i don't even think that i have to say this but obviously these are giving me some tiffany vibes we got the silver metallic check the turbo green almost looks like tiffany blue we got april etched on the back heel quarter the translucent outsole with the rose in it i mean these are just insane a retail price for these has not yet been determined. We're probably going to be in the same ballpark as the other collabs. And again, there's going to be plenty of resale value here. So make sure you pay attention to the skate shops. Pay attention to sneakers closer to release day. November 22nd, we've got two releases, both coming from Amam and Year. We've got the Amam and Year 5s. We've got a black colorway and a Photon Dust colorway. Now, when these drop, make sure you pay close attention to the size runs. To my knowledge, the Photon Dust is going to be women's size run. The black's going to be men's. Just make sure you cop the right size, especially if you're trying to get these for personals. I do think there's going to be a nice resale value here. I personally think the Photon Dusts are a little cooler than the Black Pair. Only problem is retail is pretty steep, $225, $15 more than your typical GR. But I'm telling you, in the past, we have seen insane quality from AMA. And I wouldn't expect anything less with these fives. And finally, a pair that is going to grow a ton of anticipation from sneakerheads. November 25th, we've got the Jordan 3 Fears. Holy smokes, it's been a minute since we've seen this colorway. Resale prices on these were stupid, stupid high. These threes were fetching well over $600 dead stock for quite some time now. Of course, we haven't seen them since 2013. 10 years later, we finally get a reiteration of the colorway. Retailing for $210, I do not think that this is a bad cop at all. Even if the resale prices are low at first, definitely worth holding. History repeats itself. It's a fire colorway and people are going to want it. If you've got the capital to invest, hold, you know, throw them in the closet, leave them on ice for a year or so, pull them back out and resell them later on, this is the cop for you. As of now, I still think there's going to be quick flip potential here too, but we're still a ways out. So let's keep an eye on the market and see where this resale price trends. There are a couple other sneaker releases that I didn't plug. I know we got the pennies coming. I know there's rumors that we might get a retro for craft. A lot of these have not been confirmed yet. So make sure you stay up to date with my IG. I will post release news there as well. The handle is the same 
game at all AB sneakers. Plenty of awesome releases, plenty of money to be made all November long. Thank you guys for watching and do not forget this is all about sneakers.